King Gustav VI, Adolf, was married to two English women. His first wife was Princess Margaret of Connaught. And then three years after she died, he married my aunt, Louise. And she had been Princess Louise of Battenberg. And then when King George V in the First World War, King George V of England, decided to anglicize the German-sounding names of the British royal family, and so she became Lady Louise Mountbatten. And King Manuel of Portugal wanted to marry her, but she didn't fall in love until she met the Crown Prince of Sweden. She had always said, I shall never marry a king, and I shall never marry a widower. But the Crown Prince had five children, so my poor aunt, it was very, very alarming for her. The eldest son was 14, and the youngest was only three years old. And so she really had doubts about all this. And then she met the children. And after a very short while, the eldest boy came over and gave her a hug and said, I'm so glad, I think you'll make my father happy. And he and the others had realized what a kind person she was. So all her doubts vanished. King Gustav and Queen Louise had a very happy marriage and they were devoted to each other. I was lucky enough to be her goddaughter, because my father being her brother, they asked if they could, would be kind enough to agree to be godmother. So I remember as a small child always uh, getting for my birthday and for Christmas uh, dolls dressed in Swedish folk costumes, of course. And then a little bit older, I got the folk costumes themselves, the fancy dress, and they were so pretty. I refused to take them off. I'm always lovely ribbons and lace and everything and little embroidered waistcoats. I, I thought I was wonderful in them. And then when I was older and important occasions, of course, I was given jewellery. She was a very, very good godmother. But the king and she were very different people. She was very down to earth. No nonsense very practical. She'd nursed soldiers in the First World War, very efficient. Uh, and she, she really stood for no nonsense at all. But she, she was splendid and she was the person who in the Second World War all the extended family relied on entirely because she being in neutral Sweden was able to receive letters and she could pass on news to other members of the family because of course her brother, my father, and her nephew, her sister Princess Alice's son, the Duke of Edinburgh, they were both fighting in the British Royal Navy. Her sister Princess Alice was in German occupied Greece in a, in a very bad conditions. Her mother was in England, her aunt was in Germany, so we all depended on her for getting news about how the other relatives were. And then after the war, she was a wonderful family person, she'd welcome all the relations to stay in Sweden. And it was wonderful, you saw all the cousins who hadn't seen during the war and the whole family group, it was lovely, it really was.